The inventive design of this garden proves you don't need a large wall of shrubs to get privacy. How do you solve a privacy problem without planting a hedge? This garden in Carroll, Iowa uses the illusion of a garden planted on a berm to provide four season interest in screening. Instead of planting on a mound of soil, local landscape designer Austin Eichscheid created this garden by using strategic plant layers to achieve height. Before this garden existed, the homeowners had already built an impressive patio equipped with a pergola, hot tub, fireplace, and pizza oven, but they soon realized that they wanted to enjoy their backyard with privacy from neighbors in a nearby busy road. They decided to contact Eichscheid to create a garden to solve their problem. The island bed is a whopping 75 feet long and 15 feet wide. With its large length and depth, it anchors the yard and provides the same screening as a hedge. While hedges can feel boxy, look unattractive, and make a yard feel closed in, this naturalistic layered planting provides privacy with significant height and densely planted shrubs and perennials. It makes the property feel more open and inviting and creates a wonderful view for people sitting on the patio. While it looks like the plants are planted on a berm to create height, I should instead use the natural height and textures of plants to create the illusion. Taller foundational plants were placed along the middle of the bed, surrounded by medium-sized plants and finally short perennials and ground covers near the edge of the planting. The largest plant in the bed is Autumn Brilliant Serviceberry. The tree was quite young when this garden was created, but it can reach 15 to 25 feet tall and wide at maturity. It has white spring flowers that turn into purple berries and fabulous deep red fall foliage color. This foundation plant is part of the tallest layer. The middle layer is composed of a stylized meadow planting with tall grasses like Carl Forrester feather reed grass and dancing wind big blue stem. These grasses add movement and delicate texture to the design in addition to providing four season interest. Some tall perennials like prairie dock add color among the grasses. The last layer is made up of shorter perennials like Humello betony, Blue Ice Blue Star, and Dark Towers Penstemon. In some places, Tiny Monster Geranium acts as a ground cover. All told, this garden uses just 18 different plants, but they are distributed individually and in small groupings to create a look of abundant diversity. The plant layers are not strictly segregated. The grasses are dotted around the planting, sometimes in the shorter layer. This looks a little more natural and diffuses the imposing effect of the Autumn Brilliant Serviceberry screen. Another, smaller ornamental grass, Prairie Drop Seed, also softens the lower layer of the planting with its fine textured tufts. The patio is surrounded by garden beds that are three feet wide. This part of the garden uses some of the same plants used in the island bed, like Humello Betony, Calamint, and Summer Beauty Allium, but the plants included won't grow above three feet tall. This allows people resting on the patio to look over these plants to take in the large island bed beyond. Purple is a common unifier among many of the plants used in this garden, from the lavender flowers of Summer Beauty Allium to the Crayola purple flowers of Humello Betony to the dark magenta foliage of Dark Towers Pinstemon. These colors complement the reddish-purple highlights running through the patio, from the red-purple hot tub cover to the dark red-brown wood of the pergola. Both in the patio garden and the large island bed, the design reduces maintenance. Because everything is planted densely, weeds have little opportunity to grow. The plants chosen also do not require much pruning or deadheading. Instead, the seed heads of grasses and perennials like Summer Beauty Allium and White Coneflower are left standing. Leaving these seed heads standing contributes to the late season interest of this garden. Perennials will remain through the winter, providing interesting texture to onlookers and shelter and food for overwintering wildlife. The inventive design of this garden proves that you don't need a wall of large shrubs for privacy. Instead, a limited plant palette can create movement, height, and charming four season interest with just a little attention to design.